Aristotle never imagined photosynthesis. We now know that plants use sunlight to turn carbon dioxide gas from the air into solid material. Excluding water, only a tiny fraction of wood comes from the soil. Photosynthesis is just one of the fundamental scientific ideas that we spend time and money trying to teach. But it seems as though the science isn't being understood. This is the sort of place where you'd expect people to know how trees grow. It's graduation day at MIT, the world-renowned Massachusetts Institute of Technology near Boston. We are the premier engineering and science institution in the world. They think that all they've got to do here today is pick up their degrees and kiss a few distant relatives. But a team of researchers from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics is armed with a film crew and intent on spoiling the party. They're here to put the graduates on the spot with some of the most basic scientific questions, such as, where does wood come from? This is a seed here. You can take it in your hand. Now imagine that we planted that seed, and out of that seed grew a tree. And here you can take this. Now what did all that stuff come from? Nature in the ground, the soil, the grass, the dirt. What would you say to someone who told you that the weight of the tree came mostly from the carbon dioxide in the air? I would say that's very disturbing and um, wonder how that could happen. It came from carbon dioxide from the air? Um, oops. It's an interesting idea. Sounds weird. <laughs> Are you surprised yeah. at that idea? Yep. That'd be hard to believe because carbon dioxide is, well, it's a gas and it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem intuitive that you could add mass taking in a gas. Uh huh. This came from a lot of things. Watching graduates getting it wrong proved that even after extensive formal teaching, the most basic scientific concepts can fail to take root in students' minds. Matt Schnepp, director of the research group and a PhD in physics himself, admits that the MIT graduates are not alone. I certainly believe that soil is sucked up through the roots, and I was really surprised when some biologists explained to me, no, 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 it doesn't work that way at all, it's got something to do with the air and so forth, and I, I could swear I studied this stuff, but I, it didn't make any sense to me.